Okay, guys, I have eight ideals to help you stay cool during the Texas heat wave. First one is drink plenty of ice water. Second is separate ice into small bags and use as needed. This keeps your ice from melting all at once. And you're storing it in the deep freezer, of course. Or the freezer. Third is keep track of the sun's location. Partially open windows for airflow, but keep curtains closed on windows to keep the sun out. Number four is keep Keep as cool as possible. Oh yeah, okay. Keep the ceiling as cool as possible while the sun is directly over your house. So if you have a ceiling fan, um, if you have like a loft like we do, you might want to have a loft. I mean, you might, might want to have a fan inside the loft moving the air around. Now, the fan may bring the warm air from the loft down into the cabin, but that's better. That's overall, that's much better than having that um, heat up there in the loft just heating up, the air just heating up, because eventually it's going to heat up the whole cabin, and that hot air is just going to get warmer, and it's going to start coming down the walls of your cabin, so... It's best to keep the um, loft and your, the ceiling of your house as cool as possible, especially while the sun is directly on top of your house. Okay, um, number five is wear light and loose clothing. Number six, maintain and, oh yeah, maintain cool treats like freeze pops, frozen applesauce, and refrigerated strawberry shortcakes my son loves those okay and number seven is pour a half a gallon of water over your head and that's something that my son and i do all the time um we we may take one or two showers but when it's extremely hot like today was 104 we each um took um a shower and we um poured a half a gallon of water on top of our heads uh, a few hours after that and it really helps it really helps and um number eight rest relax and sleep as much as possible during a heat wave you don't want to exert yourself too much during a heat wave we um we're here in southwest texas have been experiencing a heat wave for the past two months um, I can count the days on one hand that it has been under 100 degrees in the last 60 days. And you really have to be on top of your game 